We've seen Araldis Chapman floor with disaster before, but that's a tough situation to be in. Second and third, nobody out. How nerve-wracking was that ninth inning as you watched it unfold in the dugout? Yeah, that was exciting. Um, you know, he, he made pitches early, a couple soft contact to the opposite field. You got to tip your cap to the hitters there. Excellent PFP. Um, you know, driving the runner back to third, uh, and then he made big pitches when he had to. Eight strong for you tonight. Clearly not an easy offense to keep at bay over there. How were you able to get through eight, allowing just two? Um, I thought we pitched the contact well. We created some good ground balls and fly balls. Um, Try to keep count leverage the best we could and execute a good amount of pitches. You got a lot of whiffs on your slider tonight. Also, you incorporated that changeup quite a bit. How big were those two pitches in particular for you? Yeah, they were both pretty good. I got away with a couple sliders, to be honest. Um, and, uh, and uh, you know, but the changeup was there for us, uh, locating and ball to strike, strike to ball. Um, and the fastball command got better throughout the throughout the day, which I think was what ended up setting up some of those those good pitches. Second last pitch you threw was 101.5 miles an hour, the second fastest pitch you have ever thrown in your career. Did you think you had a little bit left to go back out there? <laughs> uh, yeah, but um, Chappie's pretty good, so. And uh, what was your reaction, obviously, when you saw Gary Sanchez come up with that big pinch hit? Yeah, home run? I mean he's. I mean, he's a player of the game, pinch run, home run, put us in the lead, uh, slid right into the flow of the game behind the play, was making great calls, obviously uh, kept him off the board while I was out there for the last two and then slammed the door with Chappie uh, in a tight situation.